Okay guys, so uh, in this section we're going to be talking about coterminal angles and reference angles. So the definition of a reference angle is it's a non-quadrantal angle in standard position. So pretty much it's always going to be a quadrant one answer. It's always going to be positive. It's going to be the closest distance, angular distance to the x-axis that you can get. A coterminal angle um, is defined as an angle that can be written in terms of another full circle. So when we're doing coterminal angles, we're gonna add 360 or subtract 360 uh, if it's in degrees, and if we are in radians, we're gonna add two pi or subtract two pi to get uh, another angle that has the same uh, measurement, okay? So, important information, if your angle lands on the x-axis, your reference angle is gonna be zero. If your angle lands on the y-axis, your reference angle is gonna be 90 degrees or pi over two radians. That's important that you remember that whenever we go to uh, do these reference angles. Okay. First example, it says find two angles, one in the clockwise direction, which means you're going to subtract 360, and one in the counterclockwise direction, which means you're going to add 360. Okay, so all we do, it's as simple as this, is add 360 and subtract 360. I always like to do the addition one first. Okay, so 330 plus 360 is going to be 690. Okay, so 690, and then 330 minus 360 is going to be negative 30 degrees. And that's all there is to this with coterminal angles. Okay, negative 450. So let's do negative 450 plus 360. Okay, so negative 450 plus 360 comes out to be negative 90 degrees. And let's do a negative 450 minus 360. It's going to be what? A negative 810. Negative 450 minus 360. Negative 810 degrees. Okay? Nothing more than that. Now, radians. 5 pi over 6 radians. So when I'm in radians, I'm going to add 2 pi. And I'm going to subtract 2 pi. Now, hopefully, like in uh, sixth or seventh grade, you learned around the world. So what we're gonna do is six times two is 12 pi, plus five pi is gonna be 17 pi over six. And that's how we add mixed numbers uh, with fractions quickly, okay? So six times negative two is a negative 12, plus five is a negative seven pi over six. So we're gonna keep the common denominator. Uh, negative 13 pi over six, we're going to add 2 pi, and we're going to subtract 2 pi. Okay, so 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 13 is a negative pi over 6. So you always have to keep that common denominator. Okay, and then 6 times a negative 2 is a negative 12. Minus 13 is going to be a negative 25 pi over 6. Okay, the next section is we're going to draw the angles and we're going to find the reference angle. Okay, so we're in degrees. So just like we did before, when I'm in degrees, I'm going to label my key points like that. Okay, now 210 is going to land me in between 180 and 270, so it's going to land me in quadrant 3. Okay, now I am... 30 degrees past 180 degrees. We all agree with that, that uh, we're 180 plus 30 gives you 210, so we're right here. So your definition of a reference angle is the closest distance away from the nearest x-axis. So your reference angle is given by the Greek letter alpha. Okay, so alpha is equal to 30. This is gonna be important for the next lesson when we start doing evaluating um, special angles using your trig chart. Okay. Next example. Okay, five pi over four. Okay, so 
Okay, so we're in radians and we're in fourths. So this is going to be pi and this is going to be 0 and 2 pi. Now, when we're in fourths, we're going to multiply the left point and the right point by the denominator. Okay. So 5 pi over 4 is going to land us in quadrant 3 because it's past 4 pi over 4. Okay. Now, your reference angle when we're in radians is always going to be, you cover up this number, and it's whatever the fraction is. So it's pi over 4. Almost always. Okay, negative 150 degrees. So we're in degrees. Okay, we're negative, so we're going to be going the opposite direction. We're going to be going clockwise. Okay, so negative 150 degrees is going to land us in quadrant 3. And I'm 30 degrees away from the nearest x-axis. Okay, so it would take me 30 degrees to get back up here. My reference angle is always positive, so your alpha is 30 degrees. And last example problem. Okay, we're in sixes. Okay, and we're in radians, so zero. This is negative pi over 2. We're going clockwise. Negative pi. Negative 3 pi over 2. And negative 2 pi gives us full circle. Now when I have fractions, I'm going to multiply the left and the right point by the denominator. So 6 over 6. 6 over 6. So it's negative 12 pi over 6. Um, so negative 7 pi over 6 is going to put me in quadrant 2 because it's going to be past this point right here. Okay, so my angle is going to look something like that. My reference angle when I'm in radians is we're going to cover up that number and it's just going to be pi over 6. Okay, and you're going to hear me say that a reference angle is always on your trig chart. Okay, in the next lesson. So it'll make a little more sense once we start learning how to build our trig chart shortly. Thanks, and this has been um, Coterminal angles and drawing angles with reference angles. Uh, you'll complete the practice problems following this lesson. Thanks and have a good one.